Hey everybody, hope you are well. Um, welcome to part four of the RX-7 build. So, took a bit of time off over Christmas because um, I had, you know, New Year's, Christmas and all that. So I've taken about four weeks off the car. So now we're in second week of Jan, so I thought might as well, you know, get right into it. So where we left off last time, I think I was doing a bit of the interior and I also had um, the front end a bit and then also the rear end. So what I want to try and do in this one is actually do all the boot and get all the boot welded in. So if you weren't, um, if you haven't seen number one, uh, I have explained about how it got reversed into, the guy that had it before me uh, got reversed into by a forklift. So it sort of pushed the boot floor in and the beaver panel slightly. So he's actually unstitched the, the rear tailgate panel and unstitched the boot and put a new one in. So it's done it all legit and I just have to weld it up. So hence why I got the, the shell so cheap. So yeah, I've got to do that. And um, I brought some zinc primer. So I'm going to, um, that's weld, weld through zinc primer. So I can prime everywhere. There's going to be a spot weld. And also I brought some seam sealer. So a um, good mate of mine, George, is coming over. And he's going to do all the welding. He's a, he's a welding guru. Um, he's a fabricator. He goes by the way of Impulse Fab or Imp Impulse Fabrication. Uh, so I'll film a bit of him doing work on the car. He's going to come over with his welder and button up the car. So I'll do a bit of time lapse of that. So it should be pretty good. But right now I'm just going to start unbolting everything and we'll start lining everything up and a bit of zinc primer and everything. Here's one sexy beast. Uh, here's one sexy broken beast. So yeah, so we're gonna pull the whole back section off the car. So I pull the hatch up. I've already taken all the boot plastics out there just here. And then we're gonna, the fuel tank sitting in the back there, I'm gonna pop that out and then everything will be exposed once I take all this uh, light assembly and, and rear bar and everything off. It's all just sitting on there, nothing's bolted in. So yeah, once I do that, um, start getting all naked and then um, show you what work needs to be done under the, under the car. So this might look a little bit intimidating to some, but um, it's actually all really well done. So what's happened is um, they've stitched a new one of these rear beaver cross brace things on. So it's all been legitimately done. Um, this all looks like it's caved in, but it's actually just the structure of how it's all like molded and stuff. So it's even on both sides. Um, also underneath is pretty good. Um, they replaced this rail here. So that's all straight. Um, the boot floor is sitting in. Um, but I've got it all lined up. So all I've got to do is literally just pinch it here, make sure it all lines up perfectly, and then just weld it in. All I care about is that all these spot welds holes line up at the back here, so we know that when we put the tailgate panel on, it all lines up dead even. Uh, all over here, I've actually just folded the, the pinch or seam panel back over here, so that'll all line up. And then once it's all spot welded in, it should um, be okay to jack the car up and drop the subframe down so I can do all the bushes in that. So I'd rather do this first and drop the subframe because you know, everything's sort of true at the moment because everything's bolted in. I don't want the car flexing in that and then when I weld it in, it's all, you know, off-centered. So um, yeah, tailgate panel will go on last. So I'll weld the boot in first. And then what I'm gonna do is take the boot floor out and out. I'm just gonna zinc prime everything. Uh, everywhere there's gonna be a weld touching. So it's like a giant puzzle piece now. But that's sort of as naked as, as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna clean up all in here, make sure nothing's sort of sitting in here like this crap. Uh, I'll clean up all in here, that way when the floor goes on, everything in here's nice. I'll, I'll paint it all up, prime it up. Um, so all, all here's been painted with black paint just to stop it from rusting. So I'm gonna sort of just give that a bit of sand and then, um, and then put the zinc primer over the top of all this. Uh, and I'll zinc prime everything 
everywhere there's gonna be a spot weld. So it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. So I'll get cracking on that and then I'm going to sit everything back in once it dries, line everything up, I'll pinch, uh, I've got some um, pliers which I'll pinch, sorry, vice grips, pinch it all together. And that way when George comes tomorrow, literally just gotta zap it all together and then let it sit. So I've gone through uh, over all the spot welds that need to be addressed. Um, so pretty much all you gotta do is just hit anywhere it's gonna be welded in, any contact that's gonna be welded here. So I've, it's sort of good because it actually brings out the um, spot welds and makes them more visible. Um, so yeah, just go over everywhere it's gonna be welded. That's just the first coat. And obviously gets rid of any rust as well. Um, so if anyone wants to know what I'm using, I'm just using the Car, uh, car Rep Zinc Spray, which is a weld through primer and it stops um, corros uh, corrosive um, elements and stuff like that. So, sprays on really, really well. Um, the first uh, panels that were done before me use this sort of um, brass looking zinc coating, but it doesn't really matter. As long as it has zinc in it, that's what you want. So, um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll hit it with another coat and then I'm actually gonna go over the underneath underside of the panels with it as well. So we'll get onto that. Cool, so everything's ready to go. I just sort of uh, set everything back on there and just uh, I've got some tech screws just to sort of keep it in, in shape so it holds its shape. Because as soon as you undo these, these sort of spring back. So you gotta make sure everything's sort of uh, lined up perfect. So everything's sitting in there. I uh, zinc uh, sprayed all underneath of the panels, all behind. So everywhere it's gonna contact the car is all been sprayed. So yeah, so pretty much Gonna end it here for myself. Um, I've got to go for a, or to a car car meet later on uh, at Highway, so I'm taking the beast to a car show later. It's to raise money for the uh, bushfires we've had in Australia recently, so I'm always up for a good cause. So I'm gonna get back to this tomorrow, and um, and then yeah, George will work his magic, and um, I will film all of that, and hopefully tomorrow it's all back together, and then we're gonna have a almost a complete shell again. So very exciting. So I'll catch up with you back then.
on day number three now. So boots all welded up and the rear tailgate panel. Everything's roughly just sitting on the back there. Uh, so everything sort of lines up pretty well. Um, all the boot trims and that sit on the little studs on the floor there, which they all line up, which is good. Uh, sort of wiggled the hatch around to try and get it to get all the shut lines a bit better. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do is actually start zinc coating everywhere that George is welded through. And then after that, I've got some seam sealer I'm gonna run across all everywhere that's got a gap everywhere that would have been factory seamed. I've got a photo on Google to show every factory seam seal so it all looks legit. And um, you can actually stand in there now, you can jump in it, it's, it's solid as, and it's been done properly. George did an absolute killer job, so thank you again, George. From, uh, look him up on in Facebook, Impulse Fab, or Impulse Fabrication, and um, for anything you need, contact him, he's a good friend of mine as well. So he does a killer job, and yeah, we'll get stuck into doing the seam sealer on this. Okay guys, so I sort of put a little bit of seam sealer on there just to get started. So you can sort of see just a really light coat. The tail lights are just there. But I'm gonna to have to stop it for now because we've got a giant storm coming that's gonna start pelting down any minute now. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and once I finish this up, I'm gonna start priming all this area. So we'll catch you tomorrow. All right guys, so we're back again the next day and much better weather this time. So I've actually gone over it with a bit more seam sealer, just sort of roughly. So it's starting to look a bit better. It's starting to clog up all the holes. There's all dust and stuff here just from the rain last night. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go over it again just to sort of smoothen it all out. And then I'm gonna hit it with some um, epoxy slash etch primer. And yeah, so after that, we should be pretty pretty set. I'm gonna sand these strut tail walls. So sand all these up. And then I'm gonna paint all inside here, everywhere, just with some primer. Uh, I'll hit it with etch first, that way all the rust, if there's any rust sort of starting, it'll stop it all. And yeah, so pretty much from the towers back, we're gonna do all the way to here. So we're cracking. Alright guys, so this is the sort of finish of the epoxy primer. So the epoxy is sort of like a sealer primer. Um, so that's going to stop any uh, any rust or anything coming up through in the future. Um, so it's all sealed now and it's ready for top coat. So I'm going to be painting it the body colour, the black in the inside. And um, you know, nice clear in that. And then obviously when the carpet and everything's on it should look nice. Um, and obviously all the plastics as well. So I'm going to probably end it for this one. But um, next week I'm going to grab a front bumper bar for this. So it should be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to start lining up all the fronts, so that'll be in the next episode. But uh, I'll just give you a close-up on how this looks at the moment. So pretty factory finish, actually, so it's starting to look quite well. So, still a couple of dark spots in that, but 
I'll probably prime it once again before I hit top coat, just for that extra, you know, certainty. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the outcome, and um, I can't thank George enough for his welding and that. That was amazing. Um, the car, you know, you can stand in the back, jump up and down, and it's all solid, you know, no, no movement. Um, another thing I'm going to do is actually get up underneath and start doing all the underneath part of it. So I'm going to prime and then I'll I'll um, sealer anything that's been welded from the other side, and then obviously I'll do all the sound detonator. So it should be good. Hey everyone, so this is sort of the end of this episode. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it all came out. Um, the boot floor actually was a big, big part of the project. Um, probably the most ambitious part because it was a lot of fabricating work uh, going into it. So um, I'd like to have a massive thanks to George again. Um, he did a killer job. You can jump and down, up and down on the, flo on the floor and it just, it's just solid. So another thing I'm gonna do is actually go underneath and I'm gonna just um, coat anything underneath that needs to be coated or um, sealed. And then I'm gonna start with the detonator underneath and then obviously drop the subframe and then do all the bushes and that. Now I can drop the subframe because all the, everything's all sort of structurally sound now. I don't wanna drop the subframe and then, you know, the quarters pull in or something. So yeah, looking good. So in the next episode, I'm gonna try and um, do the front end, uh, line that up and then I'm gonna, I've got a front bar I'm gonna pick up for it. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.